me and Big J actually did a long uh, video, post-fight video, on uh, Ebony Bridges losing to a uh, Mio Yoshida from Japan, the IBF uh, title, and uh, had sound issues, so we got to do a reshoot. So, let me just jump right into things to say that uh, Ebony Bridges looks slow, sluggish, uh, you know, you can see the layoff, but if I'm being honest, like really honest, rematch or not, like I think she would lose the fight. You know, uh, I just don't think she can beat this girl. Uh, the question is now, where does Ebony Bridges go from here after losing to Mio Yoshida? Oh, by the way, let's listen to the cards. I had to rewind it back. I'm sorry. Uh, take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I'm T-Street Controversy with 5 View 360. Let's turn it up. Uh, where we at? Boom. Hold on one minute. There we go. As the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here in San Francisco, California, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. Dr. Lou Moret and Zachary Young, 99 to 91. Pat Russell, 97 to 93. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. has beaten Ebony Bridges, and the judges saw it the same way we did. So when me and Big J did our preview video for this fight, I was like, hmm, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to put a, a question mark around this girl uh, because I was like, you know, Ebony Bridges coming off a layoff. It's not like she's uh, known to be, no disrespect, an elite fighter. So I was like, you know what? Maybe this girl uh, uh, may have a chance. Uh, just a month ago, she lost to a Sharetta uh, uh, Metcalf. And she took this fight on 20 days notice. And it makes you wonder. Uh, hold on, that's Big J right now. Let's see what he has to say about the fight. All right, Big J, I had started the reshoot of the video. So uh, let's uh, go. Your thoughts on the fight? Well, I mean, Australia's rejoicing, mate. I mean, Ebony Bridges has lost her title, and now we can, you know, stop uh, being subject to her uh, OnlyFans bullshit. Mm -hmm. People, people would be extremely happy about this because no one likes her. So you would be hard pressed to find anyone in Australian boxing that actually likes her. They might say they support her, but I guarantee you they don't like her. So, I mean, have you talked to anyone that actually likes the, her routine besides simp? people that got nothing better to do yeah and um and no. as we talked about earlier is that um you know that routine uh of uh showing the lingerie and everything especially in a place like san francisco they see that shit all the time and you were saying the same thing about australia and the only people that really ate it up what i noticed is were uh fans from the uk you didn't see a lot of american fans to myself oh yeah you know like no um and what we were talking about earlier is if as is if uh, this was maybe three, four years ago. Maybe uh, it would have been trending all online, mostly from uh, UK fans and Australian fans. But now, you know, like I'm wondering where she goes from here because her marketability is going to take a big hit. And he, she can't beat this girl, in my opinion, in a rematch. And um, uh, what were you saying earlier about the, uh, um, the uh, trend with her opponents and their ages? Yeah, well, the string is if you look at the people that she's beat, Shannon, almost mm. 40, older. Miris Gangloff, uh, no, not Miris Gangloff, um, Cecilia Ramone, older, mm -hmm. right? Beck Conley, older. She can only beat women that's older than her. If you actually get her against someone younger than her, Shannon Courtney beat the shit out of her. Miris Gangloff beat her, right? And she got a gift decision on that fight, right? I mean, who gets a rest decision? It's not the amateurs. Mm -hmm. So she, if you put her up, even though Yoshida was only a couple of years younger, she's still younger and she beat her. And she had a superior... Um, Superior resume. So Ebony did what we thought that she was past because she gassed. She started slow and she gassed. That's last fight. She looked phenomenal. But then again, I believe that Shannon hurt herself again during that fight and Ebony just took over. So, mm -hmm. Well, she so, couldn't stop that right hand. She had no head movement. Uh, just everything just looked lunging and slow. And you were talking about you were watching some uh, uh, training footage of her hitting the pads earlier this week and she looked slow. 
Yeah, she looks slow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she did look because I looked at her like she doesn't look quick. She doesn't look sharp. She looks slow. So mm. going away from Mark Tibbs was probably not beneficial at all. So not beneficial at all. Yeah, she was now uh, trained so, by uh, UK uh, trainer David uh, Caldwell. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, she, she, I think she should have stayed with Mark Tibbs. I don't know what happened there, but, um, you know, she moved trainers that didn't work out. Uh, as we said before, um, you know, um, there is a history of people taking fights on short notice and getting the upset. Uh, asterisk Andrew Louise um, in Australian boxing, as I said before, Jeff Dittman Harding won his first WBC light heavyweight title mm. on 10 days' notice. Um, it has happened where the fighter has come along, you know, the underdog, because... Ebony was preparing for a pillow fight with Avril Mathy. That's mm. what originally was going to happen. Avril got hurt, so Ebony actually had to prepare for someone that was actually a legitimate opponent. Because when I found out about this, I said that I was quite happy because Josh Shearer was a way more legitimate opponent than Avril Mathy will ever be. Yeah. So, well, she and, and as I said, and as I said, I bet the um, Medcar. What's what's her first name? Shira. Uh, Shirelle. How do you pronounce it? Shirella Metcalf. Uh, she fought uh, Yoshida on November the uh, 7th, and it's now December the 9th. And I bet you she's kicking herself because she turned the fight down, and so did Nina Hughes. Yeah. And Nina Hughes is probably kicking herself. But yeah. although I think Ebony would get Nina because Nina's older. Mm -hmm. So Nina's like 40. So I'm not 100% sure that Nina could beat Ebony. But, I mean, yeah, I mean... It's, I'm just happy. I mean, it sounds harsh, but I don't give a shit. I'm glad that she lost because now we don't have to put up with her bullshit anymore. It's like, yeah, go I'm, away, fade off into obscurity, become a commentator or something. But the sooner you stop your little OnlyFans routine, the better off everyone's going to be because you're a boxer, not an OnlyFans model. Make up your mind. You yeah. can't be both. Um, here's the so point stats. You want all the, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to legitimize a sport, that's not how you do it. And shame on Eddie for letting her do it. Because he allows that shit. Well, he allowed and it most well because of the marketability. It was it was selling, you know. Um, but now, and, but then um, he's got the audacity to say when old girl flashed her boobs on the misfit thing. You remember that? He was condemning that. I'm like, what are you talking yeah. about? You're the one that lets. The... I said that's contradictive. So you get upset when old girl does that, but it's okay for them to weigh in on what they weigh in. Get over yeah. yourself. Yeah, one twenty two so, over two ninety one uh punches uh uh landed in the room for Yoshida and sixty six of two twenty six for uh, Ebony Bridges. She just could not stop the right hand. In fact she was getting hit with everything and I was uh uh shocked that Yoshida was able to actually walk down and bully and push around Ebony Bridges, who, you know, going into the fight I would say was the uh stronger fighter. So a rematch is in my opinion is gonna go the same way. Uh, you know, as the saying goes, styles make fights, and I just think that um, uh, Yoshida is is able to outwork Ebony. And um, one thing about like you can say maybe it's, it's rusty and conditioning, but I just don't think that uh, Ebony will be able to keep up uh, with that pace. And you were talking about before earlier uh, is that yeah, you know, Metcalf is probably not going to get that rematch from Yoshida. Yoshida now calls the shots; she's the champion. You heard me? Hold on, let's see. I think we lost Big J. Big J, you there? You're muted. Yeah, sorry, man. Yeah, I was saying, uh, um, as you were saying earlier, that uh, uh, Metcalf is probably not going to get that rematch because now uh, Yoshida calls the shots. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And then she'll probably be looking herself at a unification bout because mm -hmm. why not? Because is, um, is the lead, Lou DeBella her promoter? Yes. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, um, isn't Nina Hughes? Nina Hughes with? Um, I am not she, sure. Uh, I believe she is with uh, Eddie Hearn. Let me check real quick. I'm not sure, but I do know that uh, Yoshida is also with uh, with uh, Eddie Hearn. I mean, with uh, Develop. Well, the, yeah. Well, there you go. Well, I, I don't think either. I don't think Ebony or the uh, Metcalf are going to get a, 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 a shot. Well, maybe they could fight each other to be a mandatory position, but that would be about it. Um, yeah, that would be about that would be about the only option for those two. Actually, that's that's a decent fight. Those two fight each other, and whoever wins gets um, becomes a mandatory position. So that that does make sense. I mean, that's a good comeback fight for Ebony if she stops the little, you know, stops the little show and dance, you know, pony show dance. Yeah, she's got to get serious about the sport now. You know, um, you know, because as the saying goes, you can't 
uh, play boxing. So I won't be surprised if we see Nene Hughes versus Yoshida next. And then maybe, you know, um, depending on um, if they want to, how far they want to dial back Ebony to rebuild her up, then we can see uh, Ebony Bridges versus uh, Metcalf. That makes sense. Uh, and then you yep. have uh, uh, Dina Thorsland, who's going to be taking on Sarah. Uh, um, hold on, I forgot this girl's name. Uh, Seren Seaton yep. for uh, for her title, and that's because of a purse bid. So right now, out of all of the champions at uh, um, what's this? One eighteen. One eighteen. Yeah, uh, Dina Thorsland by far, and I can say because I have watched her several times in the past. She is the most skilled out of all of these fighters. Uh, that we've just mentioned. Absolutely. Uh, closing thoughts? Absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, um, well, hopefully Ebony's learned her lesson now and actually learns that she needs to box and not focus on these other mm -hmm. things. If you're going to be a boxer, be a boxer. But, I mean, there's plenty of other uh, talented uh, female boxers out there. So, you know, if she fades off to obscurity, no one's going to be upset about it. So, as I said, no, one, no, no one's really a fan of what she does. I mean, they're in boxing ability. She proved tonight that... It's just not there. I mean, maybe she got a couple of lucky fights um, because she's a brawler. She had yeah. no head movement today night. Her defense was terrible. She was gassed by round, what, five? Yeah. So, I mean, and when the commentators pick up on that, you know it's not a good look. So she got completely dominated. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to be quietly, well, not happy, but completely doing cartwheels about this because they're like, oh, thank God she's out of the way. Um, and, yeah, we move on to the next thing. So... Yeah, so we will be back uh, next week. We're actually going to be back um, um, in less than um, an hour, so about an hour or so, to uh, give a recap on uh, Liam Paro versus uh, Montana Love. And then uh, next week during the uh, Aussie Boxing Podcast, we'll be talking about Jayo Bataya's situation with Miris Breedis, um, what's going on with the other fighters, uh, Australian boxing, uh, Australian fighters, as well as uh, Andrew Maloney winning the WBO global title earlier today. Um, to move closer to getting a rematch with uh, Junto Nakatani. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at T Street Controversy and Big J at Old Mate Big J. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.